Hi, my name is Tony Allen. I'm a science fiction interior designer. We've just come out of the. Uh, this is my flat, by the way, the Star Trek apartment in Hinkley, Leicestershire. We've just come out of the uh, transporter area, and this is the transporter control console, the very first thing I made. And whilst the design in this apartment is basically Star Trek Voyager, um, this, as all Star Trek fans will know, that this is actually Star Trek The Next Generation. But because it was the first thing I made, I couldn't part with it and make another one that uh, matched the Star Trek Voyager interior. Uh, we've moved to the centre of the room now. There's a lot of people ask me to say, where do you sleep? There's no bed. Well, I used to have a bed, but then I developed sciatica. And the doctor told me to sleep on the floor. So I have a, a roll-out bed, a roll-out here, and I sleep on the floor. And I sleep really well. And, and I sit there and watch the TV. That's another question a lot of people ask. You know, where's your television? It's behind one of those panels there. And I sit there and watch TV and have a cup of tea or whatever. And um, over to that side, we have yet again more LCARS panels. LCARS, as you know, stands for the Library Computer Access Retrieval Systems. But I guess you knew that anyway. And that is the kitchen area, or in Star Trek terms, the galley. As we move towards here, um, again we have more LCARS here. This is the uh, science uh, LCARS terminal, um, backlit panels, um, and an uplit table as featured in uh, Star Trek Next Generation in 10 forward, and I got the idea from that. So the apartment is aspects of Star Trek, but the colour scheme and a lot of other things are based on Star Trek Voyager. We have another ops panel here, uh, again, um, synonymous with Star Trek. You see many of these around, uh, around the ship, and you'd see various uh, crew members pressing these buttons and activating various uh, uh, devices around the ship. More panels here again. Uh, this is uh, more of an animated uh, LCARS panel where you see the lights flashing. Actually, this took longer to build this, but um, very rewarding if you're a Star Trek fan. We come through now to the shower room. Again, I get questions asked, you know, where is the shower room, where do you get back, where, you know, and personal questions like that, like you all want to know. And we've got these panels here, as featured in uh, most of the Star Trek movies. Uh, these took quite a long time to make, but uh, rather than have a shower rail, I thought I'd go for uh, the panels because they look more chunky. And uh, I like the design anyway. And uh, we have the schematics uh, here, another LCAS panel, the schematics of the ship. Now, before anybody jumps down the throat, mainly Star Trek fans, this is not Star Trek Voyager, basically because I could not get a Star Trek Voyager schematic. It's another um, uh, Star Trek schematic, uh, schematic of another Star Trek ship, but I've had to title it USS Voyager, so apologies for that. Uh, again, we've got the colour scheme and the panel ceiling um, in keeping with the design of, of, of a spaceship. Um, also the doors as well, as you can see, um, are very Star Trek, very based on Star Trek Voyager. We come through and um, we, we go into the kitchen area. We've got the monitor as featured in Star Trek Voyager and, um, and again various aspects of overhead diffused lighting. Um, it's all kind of tinted slate blue sort of gel.